we will now look at two specific theorems that hold for all Boolean rings. So the first theorem says the following. So if we have the Boolean ring with our set of elements denoted B, and we have the addition and the multiplication operations, then if this is a Boolean ring, and if A is an element in the Boolean ring, then we always have that A plus A equals zero. And another way of saying this is that all the elements have characteristic two. And from this theorem, it follows that all elements are their own additive inverses. So negative A is always the same as A. So from this, it also follows that we do not have any meaning of using this minus sign in the Boolean ring, because we will always have the case that negative A equals A. So instead of writing, for example, a plus minus a, we can just instead write a plus a, because negative a is always the same as a. We can prove this theorem using the fact that all elements in our Boolean ring are idempotent. So we can write that a plus b squared equals a plus b, because a plus b is now idempotent. We can also write that a plus b squared equals a plus b times a plus b. And using the distributive law, we can write this as a squared plus ab plus ba plus b squared. And again, using the definition that our elements are idempotent, we can write a squared as a. So here it says a plus ab plus b a plus b and now we can combine these two expressions and see that a plus b must equal a plus a b plus b a plus b and now using the cancellation law we can see that zero must equal to a b plus b a and since this is true for all our elements, we can put b as 1, which will give us that 0 equals a plus a, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. Our second theorem says that the Boolean ring is commutative. So remember that all rings are commutative in the addition operation, but they are not necessarily commutative in the multiplication operation. But this theorem here says that a Boolean ring is a commutative ring for the multiplication operation. So this is a theorem that follows from the definition. And this we can easily see from the proof that we had before. So if we look at this part of the proof, we have now said that zero equals AB plus BA. But since all our elements now is its own negative inverse, from this it will follow that AB will be equal to BA, which means that it is commutative in the multiplication operation.